Ah, uh, yeah, sweet little red riding hood, that's it. Okay, so going in order of tattoos, what I did. Bang. All right, we're on here. And this is episode seven of my channel. I hope you've been liking my videos. I've just pulled up. I've just got back from Melbourne. I got back yesterday, I was down there for the Australia Day long weekend. I did a couple of club appearances down there on the Saturday night. Then I went to Reva, which is a festival in St Kilda. Oh, it's not really a festival, oh, I guess it's a festival. It was like a little DJ lineup thing. I had a sick time there, it was with a few of my mates. Tim Henley, you would see him, he's on my Instagram, he's off the batch. Or Bachelorette, or whatever he's on, one of those shows, just another reality show. So it was with him and um, yeah, a few of few of the other boys and whatnot for Australia Day. So that was what we did. That was a bit of fun. Got back here yesterday and yeah, it's so hot. I'm sweating in my car, so I'm about to jump out. Now it's beeping at me. Oh, all right. So yeah, that was my weekend down there. Now I've um, just pulled up to Jaden's new warehouse. So yeah, gonna get in there, shoot my tattoo talk. You. Oh. All right, <laughs> um, here we go, tattoo talk time. I oh, know there's been a few of you that have asked and wanted the tattoo talk to come out, so decided, here you go, this is where it is. We're gonna start talking about them. I'm not massively big with like meanings for tattoos or meaningful tattoos in any way. So yeah, I'm just gonna clear that now first. I really just started getting tattooed because I liked, I don't know, I just liked the look of it and I went to a tattoo convention when I was like 15, my dad took me to it. And then there's like this real shitty show on Old Star years ago called Miami Inc. And I started watching that and I was like, oh yeah, I was gonna like, wanted to get a, a koi fish and like a fucking swimming up your arm like a Japanese tattoo. And then yeah, got tattooed and didn't get any of that. Started down there, got a Virgin Mary. That was done by a guy named Mitch Love. Uh, he worked at 383, I was just turned 18. Went and got that, put the roses on it, and then worked my way through it, I guess, over the next like few weeks by getting the doves and that. And the reason why I said on the last video was, I was getting tattoos like that because I was into football and David Beckham has heaps of religion, like religious tattoos on his body and I was like, yeah, I wanted to look exactly like him. That's the reason why I got it. <laughs> if you want a reason, that's the reason. If you want to go in order, after that, you got to cancel out the knee because that was done, hey, that was before, that was, that's ages, that's ages away. Where did I do next? Bang, that, this is my next one. This is done by Nix at 383. Tattoos, owns that with, I think one of the other boys or something, someone there. I've got a Japanese geisha, so that's her. Pretty cute. <laughs> I got a phoenix down here, which is like, that's one of its wings. That's its little taily thing. Come round if you wrap the way round. There's its head. It's faded as it's what sun damage does to them when you just don't really look after them and you go in the sun. So that's that one. There's no story behind that. Like I said, I don't have any stories for half of these tattoos. So that was when I got that done. Don't know what, how old I was. It wouldn't have been that much up, like further than that. I might have been 19, probably. What did I do then? That's on you, so I must have done this, I reckon. That's how long it's been. Like, I'm 27 now. Um, it's like almost 10 years ago, like when I started getting these things. So I think, did I have that before my chest? I don't know. Could be stuffing up here. Look, I'm just gonna take this. We'll get, we'll get down, cause. All right, no, that's what I did. That's what I did. I got my, I'm back. Here we go, I'm back, I'm back. Got the leg, got the sleeve. Then I got Mitch Love to do, the same guy that did my, did my leg, did this angelly, like this angel <laughs> chick. Like, she's pretty 2D, there's not much, that, like, detail in it. <laughs> and it says, family is forever. It's like a, a slogan that I swear everyone was getting. I guess that's like the Southern Cross of 
family tattoos that so that's what I got I got that next probably a year later that's when I got this done I got this done by a guy named Gretch he worked at Mudra Bar oh, he still probably works there oh no he doesn't that's a lie he doesn't still work there they've got their own shop him and one of the other boys Dimmy K they opened a new shop but I got this at Mudra Bar when I'm about two years probably after that he had a cancellation, so I was just happened to be there because I was hanging out there. Um, yeah, he slapped that on there. Got her down there. Then slapped this on. That there. Look. I don't know. I don't know why I got it, to be honest. I might have to put a mask on her now, I think, because I think I'm over it. I don't know. I'm over her. But, yeah, I don't know. That's that. There's no meaning to it. I've got a, I've got a word here. It says fortitude. <laughs> so I've got some shocking tattoos. Like you've got to believe. Like they all blend in now. <laughs> like so, like you know what I mean. It says fortitude. Um, the guy named Ryan Dodd did it. He's actually a pretty good. He's actually really good at tattooing. I can't knock him. But I've got that. He was an apprentice when he did that. Uh, what else did I do? Ryan also did that. My knee. Says the good life in Italian. Um, I think I might, I think I've got a pretty good life at the moment, but I don't know how great it is. How do you talk about tattoos for long? It's like I just got them because I wanted them. I don't know. They've got no meaning. Gretch, I'll come back to that one. I know, we'll talk about this one. We'll get there. Gretch also done this. Same guys before he did my chest. That's actually a little red riding hood. So everyone asking me, that's like, Little Red Riding Hood holding. My mum's calls this a bucket. She actually wants me to laser it off. Like, she hates it. But, um, yeah, so that's her walking through the woods. There's like a little trail. It's a pretty good tattoo. Like, it's a good tattoo. It's, he's a fucking good tattooist. Yeah, I haven't finished it. Again, I've had that gap in there. That shadow on her face is actually like a wolf's mouth. Like, that's its teeth, if you can see that. Do you, can you see that? Yeah, can ya? Yeah. So that's like, that's if you want to know a little story about that. I don't know why I got that. I just did. And like, when I got, cover when I got tattoos, I got them for the purpose to get coverage. <laughs> like, I hated walking around with one, one arm done or one, you know, one knee, one leg. <clears throat> I just got them to get my whole body. It was like a race for me. Not good when you... <laughs> You, you, you know, you should use your brain because they're there forever when you try and get tattoos. Ah, oh, yeah, sweet little red riding hood, that's it. Okay, so going in order of tattoos, what I did <clears throat> after my chest, had a, a fit, like, had a little bit of a break because I was over it, like it starts hurting, it hurts. Everyone that asks me, does it hurt? It hurts, I'm a pussy now. There's numbing cream, you can get that, use that, works a treat. Makes the skin a bit rubbery, but so a little bit harder for the tattooist. What, and then once it wears off, oh, good luck. Then I got my back done, that was my next one. Got my neck, same guy, Ryan Dodd, did just this bit, just the top. He did just that. The rest of my back, minus that wing, that, this is done by a guy in Burley, but they don't work in Burley anymore, it's called, um, GBH tattoo, I think. Yeah, his name's Kalen. That did that. That's what he did. It goes down on my ass. Oh no, that's the other bit. Goes over here, bit down there, a little bit of that. So yeah, that was that. Mandalas, don't know, no real reason behind those. Just got it again, because coverage reasons. Was just wanted a bit more coverage. What else? All right, so this, when I say like meaningful tattoos, I've only got one on my body that really means if shitload to me and it's um this one right here well i got it uh after my, my dad passed away so i got this tattoo right here this guardian angel with big wing goes on my back ryan dodd did it again ryan's like yeah it's a good hey, he's made of mine like my sister used to date him that's anyway that's another story but yeah my dad passed away uh, i got this tattoo of a guardian angel if like it says there's three roses there it's like mine, my sister's, my mum's, so at his funeral we put three roses on his coffin and that's pretty heavy but that's, this is the only tattoo that says always by my side down there. That's the only tattoo that means something to me. Everyone asks me about my chains that I'm wearing. This chain that it's holding is actually this one. 
is this, this one here. It's my dad's, he gave it to me. It was his, that's where that chain is. So yeah, if everyone's asking me where my chains are from, that's my dad's, that one I got given. It had his wedding ring on it and a cross, but I took it off because it's just not that sentimental, so I just didn't want to have it on there all the time. This one's from Mercy. That's a that's an unpaid plug for my, one of my good mates, Jai, and his girlfriend, they own this company. But yeah, that's the only tattoo that means something proper, proper meaningful tattoo, and that's that one. So that's that. Anyway, on a lighter note, this is, oh, this is my next, oh, actually, no, this is up here. Go back up here. Is that the feathers or is that the feathers? That's the feathers. That's the feathers. Same guy that I was just talking about, Jai, he opened up a tattoo shop in Burley. Ah, uh, Burley, in Bali. And I flew over there, when I was over there, I got that off this, um, I think it was like a Brazilian guy. It seemed like, I think my hair has grown over it a bit. It's just those two feathers. There's that, what else? Matt, this is a good one. This has got a, this has got a little story. I was a, I like was a lift kid at the snow. Like I moved to, um, did two snow seasons like a parachute, like, right? <laughs> this guy had a Friday the 13th sale on like flash day on these tattoos. <laughs> so I got the shittest cross there. It was actually an anti-Christ. It was upside down, but I was like, Fuck, I can't get that. Like I can't get an anti-Christ behind my thing. So I made him spin it up the other way and I got it there. It was actually 13 bucks, Friday the 13th, bang. That's what that is. Shit tattoo got infected, like it was all raised, dirty as. There we go, back here. This good mate of mine, Josh Coon, owns Fresh Ink. Just started this a few weeks ago. We did a little, um, we did a little vlog, like a little, I don't know, little teaser video. It's on my Instagram, it's a Hanya. There's a snake there. Chrysanthemums, flowers, little fella down there. <laughs> it's a Daruma. <laughs> He's smoking a fire. That's gonna have like smoke coming up. Seeing another flower again. I'll get tattooed tomorrow off by Josh. So yeah, have a bit more coverage on that. I don't know what we're gonna put back here. Probably like, um, I don't know, maybe a monkey or something like that. And then I'm just gonna put like waves and smoke through there. And then, yeah, whatever else happens. That's the story behind those. Don't really have one, but we were having a beer together. And I said, I wanted to get a Japanese leg sleeve because I was over, you know, walking around with one leg done. And then he was just like, come in and we'll get it going. Bang. The week after, it was all lined. So, that's that. What else have I got? And this one down here, me and a good mate of mine. <laughs> Joe, hey? Um, yeah, good thanks yourself. <laughs> that's that's a goodie. We've got we've both got that. A few of the other boys were gonna get it, but they pulled out. But you know, I like to follow through with my bets. So, you know. For anyone that doesn't follow through with bets, well that's that's you. That's not me. Huh. I always do it. I've got my feet done, but like, do you really want to see it? Like, do you just want to see him? We're getting undressed here. Get the kicks off. Get the socks off. Boom. <laughs> Little bit of RM Williams vibes. How good is that? Kicked me toe. Pretty rotten. <laughs> feet are the worst things. And then that's a skull holding the rose in his mouth. <laughs> Mate, there's no story behind these. Dimmy did them, he was an apprentice. Hurt like shit. They're half fallen out. He's a good tattooist, but I'm not knocking anyone that's tattooed me. They're all good. That's pretty much where I'm at right now. Future ventures. I'll probably get me guts. I'll probably get my guts done, like, eventually. It hurts. I don't know what I'm gonna get there, but that's coming, maybe. Thinking about gonna get the inside of that done. I'll never get my neck done. I'll never get my hands done. I'll never get my face done. I like, I can wear long sleeves and look normal. So that's me. That's pretty much where I'm at with my tattoos. Yeah, I don't know where that was going, but that's me with my tattoos. That's where I got them, that's who did them. That's the meanings behind them. Not many, as you can see. Only one meaning, you now know it. It hurts, I'm over it. But yeah, it's annoying having half finished shit. What else do you want me to say on this vlog, Jaden? That's me, bro. All right, that's me. That's my tattoos. That's my tattoo episode. 
Is that what we say? Yep. You now know where I got my tattoos done, who does them. That's where I got them. That was episode seven. That's my tattoo vlog. Stay tuned, might even make a little video tomorrow of me getting tattooed. Another one of me cringing, making facials. But yeah, this is episode seven. Bang, like and subscribe. See you in episode eight.